MLB The Show tips, roster predictions for Friday, June 24th. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of diamond players from Madison Bumgarner, Jose Altuve, and I went to Twitter, pulled 1,000 of you that voted, and asked, does Miguel Cabrera deserve an upgrade? You'll see those results. We'll start with catcher and with reliever as always. Let's get going. Starting with a familiar face in Wilson Ramos, Nationals catcher, give him a plus two. Every month this season, he's increased his average and home runs per month. And now that's also a reason he could be an all-star. Give him an upgrade. And for our next player, Braden has a question about Miguel Cabrera. Hey, I'm going to be the show tips. Miggy has been on a tear since they downgraded him to a 94 in May. He's been hitting 330. Do you think he deserves an upgrade? Braden, I was thinking the same thing. So I even asked everyone on Twitter, do you think he deserves an upgrade, maybe no change, a plus two? And sure enough, Twitter agrees with you and me, he deserves a plus one. Those eight home runs and the 330 average since May, I think that's enough, and a thousand of you voted, so I'm gonna go with the people. For a question about Edwin Encarnacion, let's go to Brett. Edwin Encarnacion has been crushing the ball in the last two weeks. He's a 424 average with eight home runs and 19 RBIs in that two week span. Think he could be due for an upgrade? Yes, Brett, with that huge month of June, I could see a little more power against lefties, but otherwise, I think his attributes match up to his season stats so far. Another hot-hitting first baseman is Will Myers. Give him a plus two. He's having his breakout season at age 25 for the Padres, and if he gets an upgrade this week, it would reward his nine home runs this month, and power versus lefties would likely go up. Over to second base, a big name, Jose Altuve, I think could get a plus one. Here's why. With a 330 average against right-handed pitching, that 79 hitting versus righties deserves a boost. Our next question comes from Will about Jerks and Profar. Hey, want to be the show tips. Jerks and Profar has been smashing right-handed pitching within the last month with a 400 average and three home runs. Do you think he should have better splits against righties? Let me know your thoughts. I agree. Profar is one of those guys that I would put on my watch list for future upgrades. He has been hitting extremely well. The big question again, will he play third base, second base? That will impact his overall. We'll wait and see for Friday's update. With a question about the second baseman for the Kansas City Royals, here's Charlie. Hey MLB The Show Tips. Uh, let's talk Whit Merrifield for a second. He's hitting uh, over 330 for the month. He's been moved to the leadoff spot for the Royals. Uh, I think it's time for an upgrade, right? Yes, sir. Give this guy a big plus five. Big contact boost, I think, are on the way for the righties and lefties. He's been good in that leadoff spot. Good question, Charlie. And as we head over to the outfield, we have another question from a Twitter follower. Here's Kevin. Hey, M will be the show tips. Michael Saunders is batting over 300 on the season, and last week he had a three home run, eight RBI performance. He now has 15 home runs on the year. Due for upgrades, right? I agree, plus two. You know, last week I mentioned him, and you're right about his huge numbers, that three home run game, Kevin. He deserves some upgrades. And over to Adam Duvall in left field, he's currently tied for second in the majors in home runs, and I expect a boost in power numbers soon, which could move him into the silver tier. Let's head over to center field where Mac has a question about Ian Desmond. Hey, what will be the show tips? Ian Desmond is hitting a career best 312 this year. This is beginning of May. He's been hitting 350 with eight home runs. Thank you, Southport, to the gold this week. You're dead on, Mac. I think he does deserve that plus two to gold either this week or very soon. Performing like an all-star, I could see more hitting stats, especially against lefties. Marcelo Zuna, give him a plus two. The Marlins outfielder is hitting 290 versus righties with eight home runs against them, which that means to me, he deserves more contact and power against right-handed pitching. He's already a fantastic platoon center fielder against lefties if you want to use him in MLB The Show. Heading over to starting pitching, give Madison Bumgarner a plus one overall. He's having a fantastic season, and when I looked under the hood at his stats, his K per nine rate is currently a career best level, and he's among the top 10 or so pitchers in hits per nine. However, his walk rate is up this year. What I think you could see are comparable strikeout and hit rates to that of Drew Pomerantz, around 80 to 85, but maybe a decrease in Bumgarner's walk rate. Look for a plus one overall. I think that's how it shakes out this week or very soon. Tips, I know you're out here killing it in the game, man, but you have created a monster, namely me. I'm also doing roster predictions every single week, and while I respect your game, coming for the crown. Gotta go over to my Twitch, 
twitch.tv slash pspore24 or my YouTube, youtube.com slash pjs24. Check out my videos every week. This week, I got Granky possibly going back to Diamond, one of everybody's Diamond Dynasty favorites, maybe bumping up to gold after a downgrade about a month and a half ago, and a common, maybe shooting up to bronze, with a very, very unexpected power surge. Watch your back, Tips. I'm coming for you. I'm sorry about that, guys. I have no idea how Sporer got into my predictions video. Let's get back on track. Now, Paul mentioned Zach Grinke. A lot of you asked, could he go to Diamond? I don't think so. I may not even see an upgrade this week. It's possible, though. It's a hard one because in the last 30 days, Zach Grinke has shown that he can be a top 10 pitcher in baseball again. But he's also accumulated some ugly stats from early in the season. So when you look at the full picture, a 91 overall might be about right. I wouldn't be shocked if some of his per nine categories rise a little as he pushes closer to diamond, but they will be modest. I don't see diamond at least right now. Giant starter Johnny Cueto plus one. Now when developers upgraded Cueto earlier this month in June to a 91 overall, they focused on boosting two attributes that again could be the key to Johnny getting another upgrade. He's given up only three home runs all season to lead the majors in home runs per nine. So there's an option. His walk rate is also elite. My guess, devs boost the home run per nine category, and the other stats may even stay the same, leaving Cueto a point short of a diamond for now at a 92 overall. In Philadelphia, Aaron Nola minus one or more. In the last three starts for him, he hasn't finished the fourth inning. So in nine combined innings, he's given up 17 earned runs. He could be going down to silver. Let's go to Noah for a question about Marco Estrada. Hey MLB The Show Tips, Marco Estrada has been limiting opponents to a batting average of under 200 this season, which is the best in the majors, and has a whip of under 1. Is that enough to make him a gold card soon? No, I'll give him a plus 1, he'll be on the doorstep, still a high silver, and here's why. You have some good stats and you said he passed the eye test, but I know his ERA is up a full run since last month, and his BABIP is the highest among all starters, a sign he may be a little more lucky than dominant considering his K per 9 and his walk per nine barely make the top 50 in baseball this year. In Detroit, Justin Verlander plus two, he's gone at least six innings in each of his past nine starts, 69 strikeouts in his last 65 innings. Maybe this will be the week he goes gold. Steven Wright plus two coming off a complete game shutout. He's also looking like a great lock for the All-Star game. I expect his home run per nine category to get the biggest upgrade, third best in baseball. Now that kind of boost, could even get him into a gold tier. If there's one player in Atlanta people are talking about, it's the ace, Julio Tehran. Now, a plus one I think is possible. I don't know if it's very likely though, because listen to this. His BABIP is second in the majors, right behind Estrada. We talked about maybe that's lucky than good, but his strikeout rate would be a career high if he keeps it up, so that's a good sign. The problem is, the last time devs upgraded him, that's exactly what they boosted. So the question is, will they give him another upgrade in K per nine or some other attributes for his recent performances? James Shields, minus three. He has been among the worst pitchers in baseball though, giving up 31 runs in his last 11 innings. I expect his overall to dip below 80. In Seattle, James Paxton gave him a plus one. This fireball lefty in Seattle lowered his arm slot and now can touch 100 miles per hour on the radar gun in real life. That's incredible. Paxton is showing he can strike out hitters at an elite rate. I'd look for more velocity and K per nine, and he should be a guy you should have fun with playing in MLB The Show. In New York, CeCe Sabathia, plus two. He's been among the best in baseball over the last month in hits per nine and home runs per nine. So I look for a small upgrade there for the Yankees lefty. And one reliever I'd like to talk about, Brad Ziegler of the Diamondbacks. He's a perfect in save opportunities this season and converted 43 straight dating back to last season. He doesn't have a great strikeout number, but he's been very good in closing games for Arizona. That wraps up roster predictions. Thanks to everyone who submitted their videos except Paul Sporer. And make sure you're following me on Twitter at MLBTheShow underscore tips and subscribing for more right here all season long.